Hey everybody! <laughs> Good to see everybody. This is Sean from Sean, uh, Sean from Seva Cantors, and today we're going to do a little bit of a paint job on some of the uh, uh, concealed carry handguns. My wife just got a new. Um, as you can see, it's empty. This is empty, empty chamber. Nothing inside, and she has a new. Car CT380, her new CT380, uh, <clears throat> and um, we're going to be painting this some cool colors. Okay, nice holsters and uh, extra mags. And sorry, we're we're shooting this in the uh, in the. Uh, I have my 40, which is always hot, but now it's good to go. As you can see. Empty chamber, it's good to go. <clears throat> now I painted this, um, as you can see, I painted this a beautiful um, camel color. And get a close one. this. My son is shooting, by the way. Uh, tripods, uh, I left it at the church. <laughs> okay, so uh, cool camel color. But as you can see, in some key areas like here, the withdrawing from the holster has uh, made it fade away. And this is probably because I was um, in a rush painting this. Of course, no, fire, no bullets, no ammo in it. But um, I had to get to a meeting. <laughs> so right after I paint, painted it, maybe about 30 minutes, and I had to reholster it. And that's probably why the paint didn't stick. You're supposed to, it says you're supposed to wait about two hours. So that, of course, we did not do. And I did. Um, so this is kind of a down and dirty uh, paint job and this is how, how I kind of did it and um, yeah as you can see the magazines came out very well um, with the uh, camo pattern with the ferns very cool this one has sort of like a little moon there uh, at nighttime shining a little bit of trees as you can see kind of cool texturing pattern also my other uh, my other holsters, my other magazine, I'm sorry, because of the mag holsters, uh, it has stripped a little bit of the paint. Again, that's probably due to the fact that I did not let it dry for about two hours. Did not let it dry. So that's probably my fault. So what we'll do is we will start uh, taping these bad boys up and let's get to it. All right. Okay. We're just taping them up. As you can see, the firearms were cleared. Everything's the firearms are cleared. They are totally empty, and my boy's working on mommy's uh, 380. Nice job. Nice and perfect. Okay. Pretty good. Uh -huh. Put on the base coat pretty soon. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to do a little test. Test shot up here. Alright, there's the pink, there's the baby pink. How'd oh, that come out? That come out good? It comes out quite good. Okay. So I'm just gonna do small bursts of pink over the gun. Here we go. Light burst. Oh shoot! It's starting to get real thick up there. Mm, it's starting to get very thick. Okay, we're gonna take a break now. Okay. So what we need to do is get a base coat of camo tan right here. See as you can see. Can you see that? The, the, can you see the, co the cover too? 
So we got camo tan. Putting a base coat down first gives it, it's much easier to control the um, other camo patterns on there. So let's just touch up. We just need to touch up, could just do it briefly. Briefly, you need to touch up the sides and the front. Okay, where else? Where else does it need to touch up? That looks pretty good up here. That's about it on that. That's about it on that side. And we need to touch up these bad boys here. As you can see, there's a lot of wear and tear on there. Okay, should be good on that side. And we'll just give it a nice spritz spritz. Shoot, it's starting to rain again. Let's bring these guys back in. Let's push this in a little bit, it's starting to rain. Let's close this door up. Okay, got a little bit of fur in there. And we're just gonna give it a nice spritz. Okay, just like that. Okay. Just like that. Should be good. Okay, zoom up on that, zoom up on that. Cool, come out nice, right? Eh? Good you? Yeah. They come out pretty nice. Okay, and then, get the brown up. Get it real close, real close on that one. Up, up angle, up angle, up angle, up angle. There, there you go. See, people can see it. Without your shadow, without your shadow in the way. See, look at, no, look at the screen. Ay, I'm boy now. Amboya, your shadow was in the screen. Can you adjust for that? Go ahead, here. All right. That's better. Okay, now we'll do the other side. Let's do another line. Okay, but it'll be brown. We'll have the same fern. Maybe we'll have it crossing. All right. What we'll do is we'll get a another one. Let's do like that. Let's go like that. How's that? Okay. All right. Now it's brown. So let's just test a little bit of brown. There's the brown. Okay. Okay. Ooh. That really turned brown, didn't it? That really turned really brown. You got purple turn brown. No, no, I know it's on the. Can you do it so people can see? Mm. Thank you. Okay. All right, that didn't turn out so good. It's okay. Okay, and we'll do one more spritz of. Uh, let's do one coming up this way, like this way maybe, and we'll do a little bit of. Ones like that, like that, and then we'll do like a little bit of tan to give it just a, a touch. Where'd that tan go? There it is. Just a little touch of tan here. Spritz of tan. Just a touch. Just on this line over here. There we go. How's that? It's kind of like eagle's wings or something. Okay. We'll let that dry. Okay, let's let that dry. Okay, now press stop, please. Okay, and just a touch of green, just a touch. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it, nice. Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Just no key. Stay there. Alright. Okay, let's let that rest. Okay. okay. Alright, we're going to do a little testing right here. Don't see the glitter so much. No, oh, I don't see the glitter so much. It's, oh, okay, so it's a very light glitter. 
All right, okay, stop that, please. Okay. Put diamonds up here. Sparkles up here. Okay. And that should be good, right there. Stop, done, done. Okay. That's it. All right, y'all, we got the matte finish. This will give it the final protective coating. Okay, let's go down here. My boy's still shooting here. Something is dead yet. And we got the pink over here. And that's nice, nice to get pink. Everything's pretty dry to the touch. It's been dry, both sides are done. So let's now put on the final matte finish. Hold on, let me turn off that. Final coat on my matte finish. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I think matte finish is done. Let's get this side. Now the other side of the P40, which is all done, we'll just put that uh, matte finish on top of the entire gun. Let's go here. So we'll just coat it and protect it. Give it the final protection. Alrighty, now we got these magazines. Let's get these sides done. everybody it's now the next morning and I think they came out pretty good the um, baby pink with a little bit of um, diamond sparkle on here or glitter sparkle I really can't see the glitter sparkle it really doesn't work as advertised at least in this low light maybe in the sunlight it will um, but that's uh, the colors that she chose I think it came out pretty good it's now no longer sticky uh, <clears throat> and here's my uh, camel well, the camel came out really nice. It's now finished with that matte finish. And the slide rack came out really good. Very nice, happy with that. Very happy with that. And also here as well. Is that focusing? There we go. There we go, it came out very nice. So I'm quite happy with that. And so there you go. Yeah, if you have um, just a bit of a spray paint and camel paint and these are that you can transform your pistols um, to look or your firearms into much more personalized um, items alrighty take care guys uh -huh.